Welcome to uh, this week's podcast. A little bit different. This is actually a uh, review of of what I consider to be sort of the top five golf reads for when you're on holiday. Um, to coincide with that, I'm actually on holiday, uh, so this is a, a pre-recorded thing, and um, wanted to give people just something to uh, to have a have a think about. Maybe if you're going on holiday and um, you know want to want to know some good good reads to help you with the golf then uh, this is my my top five um, golf reads for being on holiday now the first one is actually it's a book from a guy called uh, Dan Greaves um, if you uh, if you follow Rick Shields podcast you will have seen he's done uh, he did an interview with him and had a sort of short game lesson with him and basically his his book is called um, three the three releases um, I don't know if you can see that, there we go, the three releases, um, it's the short game system and it's a game that, you know, th- this guy has coached a lot of um, top professionals, he's um, uh, really got a, a, a unique sort of approach to the short game and as I've talked about countless times put over the over the sort of episodes that we've done, um, short game and putting have always been a key part of uh, what we consider to be you know real key elements to to playing a good round um, if you're able to up and down every time you miss a green you're going to shoot pretty good scores um, so so the three releases is one that I sort of highly recommend now he's he's got a, a slightly different sort of approach to things and it's not just about how to play the shots um, it's also about golfing IQ so it's about you know knowing what sort of shots to hit when uh, not just the physical attribute of actually hitting the shot um, short game and both short game and putting are things that everybody can improve and do better at and this uh, this book here I've only just started reading this one but just for beginners it's it's really um, it's really been quite an eye opener actually. Um, I consider my short game to be, you know, one of the strongest parts of my game. But um, this uh, this book will hopefully, you know, um, help me ascend to new levels with uh, with the short game. So um, that's the first recommendation. That's in that sort of number five is is the three releases by uh, by Dan Greaves. Uh, if you're watching this on YouTube, I'll post um, links to the books in the uh, in the uh, description, so you can uh, so you can get hold of them if you want to. Um, and that's the first first book in my uh, in my top five. So the second one is uh, a, an age old favourite, really. Um, love him or hate him, um, he's he's a golfer who's done some amazing things through uh, throughout his throughout his golfing sort of career. You know, he turned professional when he wasn't even um, a scratch golfer. I think he was four or five from recollection from from the book and. Um, you know, someone that I think we, we all know, and that's uh, Ian Porter. So this is Ian Porter's No Limits. It's a great autobiography. Um, he he did it quite a while ago now, and um, we all know we all know Ian Porter. We know him sort of as the the Ryder Cup sort of legend, the postman, as as he's referred to as. So I, I think this is a, a a really good read and something that uh, certainly sort of recommend if you're if you're if you're going on holiday and, and want something to sort of read it's it's good because i think when you're on holiday you don't always get the opportunity to to practice what you're reading about or learning so this is a good one just to yeah it's just a good read a, g- a good story from someone who say came from from working in a pro shop really uh, to sort of ascending to to the top of the game and um you know as i say becoming that that Ryder Cup legend so uh, that's um Ian Porter's uh, no limits again we'll put a link in the description if you're watching this on YouTube and um you can uh, you can get the book for yourself now number 3 so so this is a it's a little bit out there this one so it's a little bit different a little bit off off track when it comes to golf this isn't actually specifically a um a golf um a golf book it's actually a book from a guy called Gary Keller who um it's called it's called um the one thing and um it's um 
you know, it's, it's been a it's been a, a bestseller. It's a New York Times sort of bestseller. Uh, it's a Wall Street Journal bestseller, and it's it's it actually tended to be more geared towards um, business orientated um, sort of uh, the mental approach to, to to running businesses and and to getting things done really. And it focuses on really, I suppose decluttering your mind in a way and sort of cutting through all the all the crap that's out there um when you're trying to sort of build a business and you want to be more productive at work you know you want to earn better uh, income you want to just generally be more satisfied in life and and with yourself and, and what you actually sort of do so it's a little bit of an unusual one but it's a it is a it is a really good read and i think a lot of the principles to this in some respects, can be applied to the way you you practice golf. And, you know, we're always talking about practice here, um, given given the name of, of, of the channel. And I think there's certainly things that can be taken from this book um, and applied to you know, the approach and how you can get the most out of your game um, purely by maybe just simplifying things a little bit and, um, you know, decluttering yourself. There's so much stuff out there um, online and uh, and on YouTube and on all the other social media platforms, TikTok, etc., etc., that sometimes there's just too much there and you need to sometimes just sort of declutter your mind a bit. We all talk about when you're, when you're playing golf, the, the best golf rounds that you play typically will be when your your mind is quite clear and is sort of free of free of thinking really and um i think uh, dr bob rotella who's is someone i'm going to come on to in a bit he he talks a lot about you know trusting your swing sort of clearing your mind particularly when it came to sort of comes to putting as well and um so i think the the the, the one thing book is Again, just something that just just helps to maybe focus you in the right way um, in in not just in golf but in in sort of life in general, and uh, is definitely a, a highly recommended read. Really do uh, really do uh, rate it as a uh, as a as a book. So that's the third one in the list. So we're, we're coming to sort of like the 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 top two, and don't be wrong. Although I've put these in a particular order, these are you know the, I, I think any of these books are are great and and are, are really good reads, especially if you're on holiday, as I say, and you've got a bit of time to sort of to do it. But um, the 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 book in in the number two spot is um, Dream On. It's um, by a guy called uh, John Richardson. It's um, it's quite an old book actually, and it and it stems from uh, a time when. In somewhere or other, he'd been in he'd been in a in a social situation with uh, with uh, a a professional a top professional golfer and had said, you know, he was going to try and get his handicap down to to scratch and he was he was um, he was I think he was in his in the early sort of twenties with his, with his handicap when he sort of first started and the uh, the the pro golfer at the time said yeah right dream on you know you, you're not going to make scratch in under a year and um uh, and that sort of i suppose probably sort of spurred him on to to try and make something of it and 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 try and try and achieve it now obviously i'm not going to say what the outcome is of the book there's there's some real good stories and little nuggets in there in terms of how you can you know, perhaps improve what you do. And also it shows how much effort sometimes needs to be put in, um, particularly if you've got such a such a a, a high goal to, to try and achieve. And going from, you know, in, in your in your twenties for the handicap down to scratch is a is a a monumental uh, sort of task. I myself I'm trying to go from five down to scratch at the moment and and that in itself is tough enough so let alone going from from 20 down to uh down to scratch so uh, um another great read that's um dream on um it's by a guy called john richardson and um yeah some good stuff in there real good uh, real good read and um yeah i think a lot of people will have some some affinity with with how he uh, how he progresses in the in the book so uh, dream on that's my my number two pick and then we get to my, my number one pick. Now, um, the author of this book is someone that I've actually read quite a lot of his books. Um, 
in fact, I've, I've listened to a lot of his books as well. Um, so whether or not you're reading these books or downloading them on audio, um, I'll look to actually put the links for the audio books in there as well. Um, might be a would be a good um, a good idea. And um, so the author of this book is a guy called uh, Bob Rotella. Now, Bob Rotella, you you if you're if you're into the sort of golfing thing and, and an avid sort of fan, you probably have heard of uh, Bob Rotella. He's coached and trained a whole heap of different um, uh, pros on on, on tour. Um, he's also, um, you know, everyone will know Brad Faxon, who's um, uh, one of the top putting coaches in the world, great putter himself, and uh, he follows a lot of the philosophies that um, Bob Rowe Teller um, does follow. And and the book that um, I'm recommending as my number one is um, Putting Out of Your Mind. And this book itself has has probably helped me the most in terms of improving my certainly improving my putting with without a doubt, and it, it helped me to go from you know being into my te- in my teens handicap being into single digits from going from teens down to single digits. Um, this this book on its own helped me to do that. It helped me to cut out um three putts and um has 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 been instrumental in in sort of getting my handicap to where it is now and it's it's the biggest recommendation i can have of, of all the books that i've read now now bob rotel has done a whole heap of different books and i would recommend most of them to be honest um but this one in particular is 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 the best by by far for me and um I, i've taken a lot of what's in here I use it when I'm um, teaching putting as well now, and um, it's it's there's so many nugget gold nuggets in here to help you with your putting that it has to be my my number one book. It's it's um, really helped me, and um, uh, hopefully it can help everybody else out there. I'm, I'm sure it can do. So um, he, that's my number one book. So we've got our five books. Number one. Putting Out of Your Mind. Number two, Dream On by John Richardson. The One Thing by um, uh, Gary Keller. We've got Ian Porter's No Limits. And then we've got Dan Greaves' Three Releases. I've yet to finish this one, but I've just started. And, you know, um, it's it's really good to, to, to get going with. So they're my f- top five recommendations for golf reads on holiday. Um, hopefully um, most people are able to get a break over the summer Um, I'm currently somewhere hopefully in the sun and um, um, and reading uh, some of these books and um, that's it for this week's episode really as I say a real short one Um, if you found this useful and uh, enjoyed the um, the video if you're watching it on YouTube please do post comments down on the uh, in the YouTube um, underneath the youtube video if you're listening to this on spotify then post any comments in the q a section and um, other than that if you just want to send any feedback or comments about the video or, or anything else at all then you can send those um, to golf at howtopractice.com and uh, obviously the links to all our normal bits and pieces are going to be in the description below this video and uh, and in the description on the podcast episodes wherever you're listening so uh, that's it for this week hope you're all having good summers and uh, and playing some good golf and uh, hopefully the open itself has gone really well and one of my recommendations has won so uh, um, fingers crossed for that and um, We'll catch up with everybody uh, next week. Thanks all.